and there was a Yiddishist named Abe Bornstein, who was a uh, son of a gun. He was a uh, a tough character, but a lovable tough character. <laughs> and uh, I got to know him because when I was working for the American Friends at the Hebrew University, it was, he was one of the people who was going to leave a major bequest to the Hebrew University. And he says, I have, I'm leaving more than 400 letters to uh, the Hebrew University. I said, I don't know whether I said or they said, why do you have more than 400 letters? Because Chaim Grada would write to me every week. One of the reasons was that Abe would make sure that Chaim Grada had money. He didn't give the money to Chaim Grada. He gave the money to the Jewish Studies Center at Harvard. Harvard would invite him to give a lecture at Harvard and pay him for the lecture so he could keep his uh, dignity, get the money without feeling that Abe was giving him directly. It was a, you know, a, a very clever way of doing it. So Chaim Grada would you know, write to Abe and thank him, you know, and, uh, and Abe, uh, uh, who knew no chachmas, uh, said, what you're writing to me is narishkeit. If you're going to write me narishkeit, don't bother. But I want to know what you're thinking. I want to know what you're working on. I want to know what your next project is and what your attitudes on this and this and this. Uh, so I don't know wh what period of time we're talking about, but 400 letters? If he wrote one a week, uh, that's got to be over a period of eight or nine years. And, uh, and I don't know what they contained. 